Hello, hi, what's up? So today's video, I'm doing something else. I am changing my hair. How do we know it's time to change the hair? Well, give you some tips. Number one, mm, it's not giving. Number two, when everybody's like, when are you changing your hair? Okay, cool. So since I've had both those situations, in today's video, I'm going to be using a couple of tools. Tool number one, scissors. Tool number two, hands. And tool number three, yummy, yummy. So basically what's happening here is I'm just snip, snip, snipping away at the tips of each braid just to speed up the process. Because if I don't do this, it will take eons. You can see, uh, let me move out of uh, shot there it's a vatica situation so vatica or vatica i'm not sure how to pronounce that afro naturals detangle spray first time i'm using this by the way um but i do use other det detangling sprays so this has coconut oil apparently what it does is it softens hydrates and makes it easier to work through not it's for type for hair got it cool okay let's give this person this person a shot okay so what i'm doing now is i'm spraying 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 i'm gonna start in the front but i'm actually essentially spraying all the way around i want to get sure with myself when i say i mean get sure with myself don't make no sense i want to get real with myself and be like yo i sprayed this detangling spray so so just make sure you've got an even distribution of the detangling spray all around your wonderful head. Um, massage it in there, make sure it's there. And then once we've done that, let's get to the fun part that is actually taking out the individual twists. So this can be difficult if you started with a three part braid like I did. If you started with an entire twist, then just go for it. So I thought let's take out each twist one at a time and then I thought you don't pull them all out at the same time. So that's what I'm trying to go for here in this video. Then we can look at a, at a twist out together, you know. Uh, it's always good to work as a team, right? You feel me? Cool. Okay, so I mean, I'm winning. I think I'm winning. I'm winning. Okay. And the nice thing is if you do twist and you twist everything, unlike me, see, like how I do it, I start with the three-part braid like so three-part braid and then i do the twist at the end um which makes it a little bit of a challenge when you're untwisting but if you do like a twist all the way through then that goes so well because then when you're taking out your twists you just literally untwist and then you're done but now because i had to be a diva with the roots um it's gonna take me a little bit longer than it would somebody else to take out the hair trial but I got time you know I ain't in a rush I ain't in a rush I'm not in a rush I got this okay so slow and steady wins the race slow and steady because we want to make sure that we're giving our hair some TLC okay so always remember to stay hydrated take a snack eat something take a break but more importantly tie your hair up so that you have a portion that you know okay i'm, I'm already done with the side and now i'm still busy with the side so i'm just taking my snack So the snack is just for energy because this is a job okay um so i think i found a little bit of a life hack then we go down we'll bring it all we'll bring it all the way up here cool okay let's do the bottom ones okay so we started at the top still the same way then we go down next the life hack is if you had a toothpick you just start it at the top of the twist and then drag it down let's see what's up okay okay cool so this is how this is where we at 
Okay, so for me, I'd be like, okay, it's a wrap, let's go. But remember, remember, our friends, we can't go looking like that. That's nasty. Okay, so let's get to the very, very last, last bit. This is basically, this is where it ends, right? So the last bit, because I did this, I started all my twists with a three-part braid at the beginning. And then the twisty part at the end I have to undo the three part braid and then take out the actual twist so there we go undo the braid take out the twist okay cool so I'm obviously going to have to spray that detangler one more time but I'm not gonna do that right now because we wanna we wanna make sure that everything is out okay so now we are fighting we are fighting another battle we are fighting the battle of debraiding the twists that have already been untwisted it's a lot of stuff man this is like like i said this is a job this is a joey job okie doke so now we're actually seeing the hair um coming out so, hi hair it's been a minute okay so oh, oh. okay i think i almost hit myself in the eye there so much for not going to the salon because I don't want violence on my head then I bring the violence to myself like really okay but no violence we are ooh, I think I spoke too soon okay okay I think I get a little bit impatient sometimes when I get to the tips sometimes depending on how nice of a braid it is at the tip it comes out easy sometimes you gotta give it a bit of a nudge okay so it's looking very dirty I won't lie it's nasty um, that's not my fault. I mean, I tried to look after my hair during this very short time that I've had my braids in. I mean, I washed it a couple of times, truth. I promise I washed it quite a couple of times. But maybe I didn't wash it correctly. Um, I'm also human. Hey, hey, buddy. So how long does it take you to undo your braids or your twists? And do you go to the salon? If so, why do you decide to go to the salon? And like, or do you not prefer doing it yourself? Have you had good experiences with hair salons and hair retention? Let me know. Okay. Oh, I mean, I have all the motivation, but that doesn't take away the mountain that I'm climbing over here. Okay. Oh, here we go. Come on, Lonson. Please hold on. Okay. I mean, I think I've been doing this now for an hour. It's like 60 minutes. I think. It's probably been like an hour. Um, and I had estimated that it would take me uh, an hour and 30 minutes. I think my estimation skills need work. Um, okay. Okay, cool. Okay. I see, that's what it looks like when you pull it out. Right? That's what it looks like. Cool. Ooh, that's very gross. I'm gonna hide that because it's distracting. Oh, I can't hide it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Alright, let's get distracted. Let's get distracted by the nastiness. Okay. Nah, I can hide it. I can definitely hide it. Let's hide it like this. No? Okay. <laughs> I mean, it looks so bad. Okay. So, okay, it's still going strong in the background there. Uh, so, I feel like the first time I think I had a conversation with someone about hair. It was this young lady, I'm gonna call her a little lady in primary school. Like she had such beautiful long hair, um, and I was just like in awe. And I was just like, I mean, why is this young lady's hair longer than mine? Like, what did she do differently? <laughs> like, what is she doing? And then I asked her, I was like, dude, how come your hair's so long? You know? And instead of her giving me some answer about genetics and how she's somehow not fully herself like how many people used to do back in primary school 
um, she basically just told me, you know, I keep my braids in for like three months at a time. First, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so gross. She's like, I keep my braids in for three months at a time. Um, so I only change my hair f like um, four times a year, right? And I was like, what? It's like, really? And she's like, yeah, I keep my braids in three months at a time. And I wash my hair in the braids and all of the stuff. And she gave me some of her secrets. And I was like, oh, cool. So then I started doing it, right? A um, little bit. But then my hair wasn't necessarily growing as fast, so I thought. And then I started realizing that, wait a minute, it's not, I don't actually do that. It's like, then I started like looking into it a little bit further. And I was like, what's going on here? I mean, I don't do my hair that much. I don't, and I, then I thought about like, why, why would doing your hair a few times a year impact your growth of your hair? And I thought, oh wait, let's see. Every single time you change your hair, you are actually pulling at it, right? Like let's say you do braids today, you take out the braids, tomorrow you do corners, take out the corners, the next day you, whatever, like you do some different, you do mini, like mini twists um, with hair piece, okay? Because mini twists can be regarded as a protective style, but like, let's say you do the mini twist like with hair piece and you don't know how to take out your braids correctly, then your hair can break, your hair can crack, um, your hair can tear. I'm not sure if hair can crack. I think I don't think that makes sense. But your hair can break, right? So your hair can break. And then I thought, hey, if we use compounding on breaking hair and like you like you break hair today and then you break hair tomorrow and then you break hair, then overall you're like breaking so much hair. And so you're not actually seeing the correct um, representation of how how much your hair has grown in the year because most of your hair has been lost to breakage and so I thought maybe the beauty is not in how many times she changes her hair okay well the beauty is <laughs> pun intended the beauty isn't how many times she changes her hair but I thought maybe the the secret to how long her hair is isn't in how many times she changes her hair it's actually um, it's about how it's done more often um not not how it's changed more often like more often than not it's how is the hair changed more than whether the hair is being changed obviously i haven't done a study um that like that like zeroes in on this logic but i just thought hey that makes some kind of sense and so i started to take extra care when i was doing my hair myself especially I mean, as a people pleaser, still when I went to salons, sometimes I just shut up and, you know, I just let them do whatever the heck they were doing on my hair and I'd still be miserable and sad about the outcome and I'd just be like quiet and afraid to say, guys, like, I'm not paying you. You guys just did a nonsense job on my hair. I hate what you've done. So then because I saw that that wasn't happening and I wasn't able to be outspoken enough to tell the hairstylist that like, actually, you guys have done a crap job. This is rubbish. I hate this. Like, I'm not paying for this. Do a different thing. Like, this is not the picture I showed you. I'm not happy with this service. I'm not happy with what you guys have done in my hair. Since I wasn't doing that and I wasn't able to speak that way and, like, have the the bravery um, and, you know, the level of, like, the fierceness to, like, stand up and say, okay, when they ask me, like, do you like it? Just say, no, I don't like it. I'm not paying for it or okay I don't like it I'm paying half or whatever I was like this is not gonna work so let me just do it myself and so when I started doing it myself and I started to take the level of care into it I was so much happier with the outcome not necessarily with like how it looked because I'm obviously not a hairstylist I'm not gonna get the hairstyle 100% every time but I liked how my natural hair was responding to my natural care Ooh, bars how my natural hair was responding to my natural hair but yeah so that was a thing um and it's just been like that ever since so maybe a year or so ago one of my friends was like please do um hair videos and like oh, maybe it was two or three friends actually who started asking questions like oh you know we've seen like a change in your hair 
you know, because I obviously do not have the longest hair in history, but I think they were just speaking um, in comparison to where my hair has come from and my hair journey and how I have been able to have my hair just look so healthy um, and like, yeah, you know, in comparison to how it used to look. I mean, it didn't look unhealthy, but it's just looking a lot more, a lot more like it has a lot more love these days so then they were like start you know please post these videos um of just hair care and here i am so i'm not sure if this is necessarily the right way to do things but maybe um maybe i'm helping someone maybe somebody doesn't know that maybe they're breaking their hair by going to the salon or by just not taking their braids out with care and with love maybe they don't know and maybe retention of hair is not the point so maybe this is just irrelevant but whatever you know it is what it is so here we are um and so far it's looking okay uh i've managed to almost secure half the head so we've done half the hair almost and i'm even like getting in there at the back as well uh, some people were like oh my gosh i don't know how you do your own hair especially at the back I'm just like like this right just like this just put the hands at the back and do it I'm sure if you're as impatient as I am you're thinking like are we done yet no we are definitely not done yet so I've finished the one side of the hair and I'm busy with the other side as you can see everything is moving along swiftly remember the objective here is to remove all hair piece without breaking the hair so it's a tender loving care approach start at the top and end at the bottom no we're not drizzy drake we're not starting from the bottom now we're here no <laughs> we're starting from the top and we're bringing it down to the bottom and this is how it looks okay so once we've gotten rid of the hair piece we can actually look around and we see that the sun has set remember when i started this it was daytime it's evening time when it guess how long this took me i mean you know take a guess let me know and i will reveal it all in good time okay so basically we are finally done not really okay so we've taken out all of the additional hair you know the purchased hair now we're stuck with just biology right genetics we're just stuck with our natural selves okay cool so now that we're here i'm still showing you exactly what i mentioned at the beginning of the video which is i'm using the detangler aka the detangling spray aka vatica okay so i've sprayed it into my hair and i am gently massaging it through each portion of hair i prefer to use my fingers and not a comb just to minimize breakage but if you feel that you've successfully massaged enough detangling spray into the portion of hair go along and use the comb you know there's no there's no there's no harm in that just be gentle and kind do not comb your hair at a 90 degree angle it's not a war zone okay cool so now that that's happening as you can see um there is actually a lot of retention from the tip or the root of the hair until where um, the braid used to be attached to or the twist used to be attached to i use braid and twist interchangeably i'm sure you've noticed you know to each his or her own okay cool so we're winning at this game we've lost a lot of time but we have lost no hair that is the point okay the point is to lose no hair great so now that that has happened it's looking it's looking it's looking great it's looking good um it's looking healthy it's looking happy it's looking delectable so we're happy with that scenario but this is not about curl patterns or getting the natural per, um, curl progression or whatever yeah i just said progression like we're like playing music and we're not so that's hilarious but yeah this is not about that this is just about retention right so we're happy with the retention regardless of what's going on with the curls or whatever that's just the detangling spray um working its magic there which is okay and that's pretty much what's going to happen all around the hair right so i need to go and make sure i spray each portion of hair 
with the same amount of um, detangling spray, massage it into each section like I'm doing now, get in there and then separate with my fingers. Now the reason it's not looking 100% perfect is because remember this is not this is not a wash routine, this is a pre-wash routine. So this is still at the level of we haven't washed the hair just yet. This is to make sure that when we finally do get to washing the hair, the hair remains intact so after you've done this process going to a salon is okay it's up to you right you go to the salon don't go to the salon my thing is if you go to the salon before doing this prog um this process then you will lose a lot of hair in this process at the salon and then you'll probably lose even more hair when they're actually washing the hair depending on the kind of salon you 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 decide to go to so so far at this point, I was like, okay, I'm just going to keep going um, because this is the way to do it. And naturally, this took pretty much forever, right? As you can imagine. And that's good. Taking forever is just the name of the game. So I will just show a, a little snapshot of how, much, um, of how much weight is on your head when you add braids. And that's just kind of funny because it's like, oh my gosh, you've got the weight of the world on your shoulders. Meanwhile, no, you've just got the weight of braids on your shoulder. So it's, it's hectic, it's a lot. But um, hopefully, you know, if you were watching this while you were undoing or unplatting or however you want to put it, or just taking out your braids or twists, you're also pretty much done and, and we're celebrating together. So yay, give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> um, but that being that, yeah, so I asked you earlier how long you think this took me. And the shocker is it actually took me eons. It took me, I thought initially I was like, okay, it's going to take me 90 minutes. Huh? No, it actually took me an entire two hours. But remember, the name of the game is to make sure you retain the hair. So it's not a loss. It is not a loss. We're winning. Okay, that's the point. The point is to win. Happiness. Give it a thumbs up if you're happy with, um, you know, the retention technique. Uh, leave your comments down below. If you want to be notified of future content, smash the bell button. Check you out on the flip side.